Wildfires are part of nature. They've been around forever. In fact, they cleanse the earth. But at this point, more than 80% of the wildfires we see are started by humans. They can start in a lot of ways. Arson, accidents. We've even seen a gender reveal party be the start of a wildfire. And the campfire, the one that killed 85 people, started because of faulty power lines. And of course, lightning is one of the culprits for starting fires. That's the natural one. We saw this gigafire, this outbreak of more than 11,000 lightning strikes in the Bay Area in just three days. Yes, wildfires are becoming more common and they're lasting longer. And that's the really big change. So if you look at a place like California, where you have their record year set in 2018 of acreage burned, and then by 2020, you more than double that, you know that there is a problem. So not only are you going to burn and then make carbon dioxide, but you're also going to burn the forests that were once absorbing carbon dioxide. So it's kind of a twofer in the negative direction when it comes to climate change. And when I was in Australia, I remember learning about the wildlife impact. The bushfires were so big, you had three billion animals that were killed or displaced. California is where our minds go when we think about wildfire. And there are a couple of reasons why they're more prone to wildfire in California. One, prolonged drought. You end up having more heat that dries out soil, that dries out foliage, and makes for really difficult conditions because fires can start quickly and then become erratic quickly. You've heard of those Santa Ana wind events. Well, what happens is you've got a high pressure that comes into kind of the Great Basin area. And you'll end up having these offshore winds come over the mountain ranges. The air not only is already hot and dry, but it starts to sink. And it can squeeze between the mountain passes and take any normal old brush fire and blow it out of control. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.